What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, A to Z, full tutorial of my designs. List hundreds of listings at once, ditch place it for mockups, and make AI generated art, if you so choose. Let's jump into it. So this is what it looks like when you log in to my designs and you click listings. Log in, click listings, this is what you're going to see. And at first, as a brand new user, you could have some questions like, what the heck am I doing? Well, that's why we're here today. I'm going to show you what the heck you're doing and how fast you can get rocking with my designs. So I'm going to do two designs. I'm going to do two listings, but the same process is the same for if you wanted to upload, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 designs all at once and do all these things that I'm about to do and apply it to 50 listings. So what I'm about to do could be applied to 50 listings all at the same time with no time difference. That's the power in my designs. If you want to try it, the link is in the description. I highly recommend it. You can try it for free without your credit card and upgrade later if you so choose. So we're going to upload. We click upload. This little box shows up. You go to your documents and you drag them in. So I'm just going to drag in two designs right here. And we're going to go from there. Okay, here they are. Boom, bada, bing. For t-shirts, they want 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Highly recommend uploading them like that. That way, inside of my designs, you don't need to move them around, which you can, which is a beautiful feature. You can. There's two spots where you can move them around. You can move them around with this tool here called Canvas. Then later on in the process of listing, you can move them around with a tool called Adjust. So super powerful in case you don't, let's say you already have 50, 60, 70, 100 designs. You want to migrate all the way over to my designs and ditch Printify, ditch Printful, etc. And you just want to dump them in. That's totally fine too. You can move your designs around after they're within my designs. So let's get going. Anytime you want to do something with my designs, you're going to want to make sure these check boxes are clicked. Okay. So now that we have both of these clicked, we can start doing things to them. So the first thing, let's say you already have your description. So I'm just going to put a little placeholder here, description like that. But if you're migrating or if you're, it's a brand new listing, then obviously you're going to want to put your description there. In this video, I'm going to use the Fraser AI tool. So that way you don't have to sit through me doing my title and tags. So this, so the first demonstration of brute force power on my designs is with the Fraser AI tool. So let's go there. So all I'm going to do is do Jesus. This is a, this, this design says love like Jesus. And both of them say that. So I'm going to just do Jesus Christ Christian t-shirt. Okay. That's what I'm going to give it on both of these. Now, with the Fraser AI tool, you want to give it three, four, five words. Two phrases would be great. That's I could put a comma here if I wanted. That would be, you know, two phrases. You don't want to give it just two words because it'll be able to give you better title and tags. So I have them both selected. I'm going to hit save. There's a save button over here. You want to do that periodically so that way you don't lose your work. I'm going to go up to here to actions. I'm going to hit Fraser AI. Select field containing keywords, title. Okay, ready to go. That's where the keywords it's going to work off of are. Select product type, t-shirt. That's essentially what kind of noun it's going to be using in the title and tags. So all I got to do is hit submit. And we're going to wait a few seconds, essentially just a few seconds because it's pretty quick. And it's going to fill in the title and tags. I'm going to keep it as is because... I'm going to I'm showing you the entire process. If you would like to, you can edit these title and tags. However, just taking a quick glance at these, every single one of these tags is good to go. You absolutely good to go. Perfect noun shirt on every single one, gift, perfect. Jesus lover gift, Jesus Christ shirt, church t-shirts, cross t-shirt. Man, yeah, this is this is legit right off the rip. Um I I sp I speak to the owner, the founder often and he's telling me that they're always improving it and this is a testament to that they're definitely always improving it i've seen massive improvements within the last two three weeks so that's really cool okay and it was very quick 
All right, so I have the title and tags ready to rock. We're good. Now let's make some mock-ups. Still selected, both box there. I'm going to hit Actions once again. I'm going to go to Mock-ups. Now, here's all the mock-ups. I'm just going to choose this t-shirt just for the sake of time in this video. Generated a mock-up immediately. Some of them don't. Some of them don't generate a mock-up immediately. If that happens, all you have to do is click Generate Mock-up. There'll be a button over here to generate the mock-up. But for the, sake, for the sake of saving time, there we go. Mock out, output file slot. This is where you want to pay attention to. So if, if you're doing one, one mock-up, that's fine. It's going to go in the first mock-up slot, which is going to translate to your second listing image. Okay. Or your first, depending on something we choose in the future here that we'll get into in just a moment. Okay. So... You can choose your color of the shirt here. Um, if you want, you can, you know, eyedropper, use an eyedropper tool to grab the shirt color, etc. Or you can just do white and black. In the future, I was told they will be updating to a, you know, a color swatch here so that you can click different colors that they print on. So that'll be really awesome in the future. But for now, we're going to go with black and we're going to choose mock-up slot one. If we're doing this process again, you would choose output file slot mockup two. So it would go into the second slot and not override the first one. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to hit create mockups. Now, keep in mind, we selected two listings before we did this. You can see that at the top left here, create mockups, two out of two. So this is doing it for two listings. You click this over here and you can see both designs are going to be on that model mockup extremely powerful. If this was 100 listings or 100 designs, this one mock-up would be getting done for 100 designs, That thus saving you hours of your precious life. We don't have a lot of time here on this planet, so you might as well use my designs to save your life hours and hours of mock-up creation. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful feature there. Now we waited just a split second already done. It's in the slots right there. Okay. If I wanted to do that for more mockups, I would do that same exact process again. Now with these two listings still selected, I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to hit products because you can do digital too, but we're going to do products on the top platforms for Etsy. Okay. Now we're going to choose, we can choose the, you choose store, you choose clothing, you choose your category and everything. Okay, you, you fill that out. That's easy. It's the same exact categories that Etsy has. This is all default. Don't worry about that. You hit validate and go next. Now you choose the garment you want to print on. We, we already knew we're doing t-shirts, so we're going to hit t-shirt and we're going to find that unisex Gildan shirt, which is in all t-shirts, t-shirt. Nope, the 5000 L is a Men is a uh, woman's shirt. We're just going to go to men clothing, all t-shirts, t-shirt right there, Gildan 5000. Okay, it shows you the prices and everything here, all the colors, etc. You just click this. And now this is another beautiful aspect of this tool. So we're choosing all the colors that we want. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, light pink. I'm going to do sand and I'm going to do light blue. All those, you, you choose your colors, okay? easy. Now, down here is where you choose what mock-up slots you want to be applied. If I choose one over here that there's no mock-ups on, we didn't fill out mock-up three slot, so it's not going to show up. We, we did do mock-up one, so here it is. Boom, you click it, it shows up. Now, keep in mind, this is being applied to those two listings at the same exact time. All these settings that I'm clicking is being applied to two listings at once. Again, same process, for 50 designs, same process for 100 designs. So that is a very powerful aspect. Again, everything you do, it's for all the designs you had selected at the beginning of this process, okay? So you can see this little button here to, to toggle between your listings. If there were more than two, you could keep going through to see which one is which, okay? That's awesome. So generate mockups based on selected color. So you can choose between multiple there's going to be different photos here for each garment or product um, but i'll choose this one here so you can see it already generates the each color too which is insane it generates each color for that that you choose i don't want light pink it goes away okay i do want light pink bang it's there 
That's how fast that happened. So the next one is that it's very powerful that I recommend you do when you're doing your listings on my design is right here. Generate size chart. Click this. And now you get a size chart. So you choose the color of your size chart as well. So here's the size chart. You can choose what color shirt is on the size chart. So it's black by default. You can do white, do pink, whatever. Okay, we'll do white. We'll do uh, light pink for this one. Or no, we'll do corn silk. Um, I would say that's light yellow, but hey, Gildan chooses their own names. And I'm sure corn silk is like trademarked. I don't know for a color. Who knows? I don't care. But we're moving forward either way. So you can see you make generates a size chart. That's wild because that saves you again years of your life essentially if you if you know you know it saves you essentially years so now that i've selected everything that i want on this page it, it's applied to everything that's beautiful so validate and go next now we're going to do pricing okay slots do not came to file i messed up this one does not contain a file oh because i have mock-up three selected still we don't have a mock-up three so that's why it told me that Okay, so here we are on pricing again. So this is going to apply to both listings. So if this was if this was 50 listings, this is what I'm about to do would apply to 50 listings. So this is how I handle it. All sizes, you increase by, let's say I want it to be $33.99 because you know you put sales on it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I do free shipping. Um, my designs does create a shipping profile in your Etsy for you for the actual price of the shipping. What I do is I go in and I edit it and I make free shipping on stuff. But if you wanted to just import with my designs or let my designs create the shipping profile for you, that's totally fine too. It's accurate to how much you get charged. So that way, you know, you are profiting and it, it covers you like that. So increase by $33.99, all sizes, all colors. Hit apply. Now we're we're rocking there. What I do is I go to, now I go to the big sizes like five, four, three, and two XL, and I increase by a dollar amount instead, increase by dollar amount. Yeah, not replace. Make sure you don't go to replace accidentally. So increase by dollar amount, and for five XL, I'll do, you know, 297 increase. So boom, now all the five XLs are $2.97 more because they do cost more. You can see that right here, cost 1260 versus 838. So that's powerful in itself. You do that for all the XL sizes that you want and you're good there. Now, again, this is applying to both listings. If this was 50 listings, you just saved hours of your life, potentially years of your life. So you hit next step after you got all your pricing correct, shows all the colors, all the pricing, very nice. Hit next step, shows you a quick little summary of everything. You hit publish then it goes to your drafts. Once it's in your drafts, you then go over, you know, touch up this, that, and the other if you want to. Choose your thumbnail image, hit publish, and you're rocking. That's beautiful. That saves hours of your life. If you want to try my designs, highly recommend it. Highly recommend migrating over. If you want to be a power lister, if you want to get that volume onto Etsy and not wait for one design to do well, you want to get that volume onto Etsy, try my designs. The link is in the description. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next video.